What's up, movie fans? Michael Landon gave us one of the most iconic, memorable TV series of all time in Little House on the Prairie. He also gave us Christopher Landon, who gave us Paranormal Activity 2, 3, 4, The Marked Ones, Disturbia, and a whole bunch more interesting films, uh, including Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse. He's also the guy who is behind uh, this new series, which is seemingly going to be like maybe the next Scream uh, in Happy Death Day. This is Happy Death Day to you. This is the continuation and what I can only assume will be a three-part series uh, of Groundhog's Day meets Scream. Um, done in a more of a comedic fashion than just pure unadulterated horror. This film focuses on... Uh, a young lady played by Jessica Roth who is just trying to get through life. But unfortunately, she keeps messing up and she keeps getting effed up, murdered, shanked, electrocuted, you name it. She keeps getting killed and she wakes up every day the same way. In the bed of a man, a fellow college student, and she is trying to figure out what went wrong and how she can get out of this loop. Uh, we are given more information uh, connecting how the first film happens, why the first film happens, so we get some serious backstory to it. Uh, we get a little bit of drama with her family. We learn even more about her family than we did in the first one, uh, and about the character uh, of her character. The character of her character. Uh, it's a bit far-fetched for my liking. I thought the first film was okay. Uh, I think this is pretty much on par with it. Uh, it does take itself... Uh, it, it does think that it is extremely funny at moments. I'm not saying I think it's extremely funny at moments. But it definitely like pauses trying to get you to l laugh. Like It feels like a canned... Even though there's no canned laughter on, like, uh, like on a sitcom, it feels like they're waiting for you to laugh. And there are moments that are not funny, but you can tell they think it's funny. Um, I think the movie's fine. It is an okay movie. Uh, I didn't hate it. I rolled my eyes quite a bit. I was not scared at all. It relies on jump scares, which aren't scary to me. Uh, but I will say it did have heart. The sequences with uh, her family, without going into details and spoiling it, uh, I thought were pretty good. I think that the... Her family was well acted, especially her mother. Uh, I, I give them credit. She she's really good. This Jessica Roth, she's very good too. She's she's somebody I can see uh, being like the next Rachel McAdams, very reminiscent of her. And I see good things for her. Um, is this series amazing? By no means, no. Uh, it is produced uh, by Jason Blum and is under the Blumhouse uh, banner. Uh, he. I was looking at his filmography. Wow, this guy is producing, 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 producing. Uh, the Insidious series, the Ouija series, Ouija Origin of Evil is phenomenal. You guys should totally see that. If you haven't seen it, you can watch my reviews of movies uh, that I've been mentioning, like all the Insidious films, all the Ouija films uh, on my YouTube channel. Um, he also did all the Purge films, produced them. Check out my reviews of those. Uh, just subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, and look at my movie review watch list. Just let it play for hours and hours and hours. I want to know what you guys think of this movie. Did you like it? Were you indifferent like me? Did you hate it? Let me know either way. If you loved it, that's that's awesome. I'm not hating on it. Uh, I think it's an okay movie. Uh, I prefer more horror, more suspense, more gore. There was some suspense. There was some very, very, very minimal, mild gore. It's kind of like Scream level gore, where it's more of a, ooh, kind of thing. Uh, some things are just, it felt kind of like an MTV uh, Scream series version of a horror movie. It not, it's not a, necessarily a bad thing. It just, I'm looking for more, the gore the merrier is kind of my motto. So yeah, if you could subscribe to my channel, Check out my other movie reviews. I love movies. I see several movies a week. Uh, I even did a review of Happy Death Day 
that you can go back and you can watch. Um, you can also, if you like cool t-shirts like this, you can go to onceuponatea.net, uh, find your shirt like this symbiote shirt, uh, and when you check out, there's a little coupon code section, type in my username, London Hawthorne, and you're going to save $1 to $3 depending on how much the shirt is, uh, and that's awesome. I get a couple bucks in credit. Whatever you save, I get in credit as well. So it's pretty awesome. So that's onceuponatea.net, and it works. Thanks so much for watching my videos. I just got home from seeing Cold Pursuit. I'm about to do a review of that, so I'd love for you to check that review out. But I see anything and everything. I love horror movies, obviously, uh, but I'll, I'll go watch The Favorite. I'll watch Painted Veil. I mean, I, I don't care. I will watch any movie. So please subscribe. Please share. Please recommend movies to watch, to check out, to avoid. I don't care. Just talk to me. Thanks so much for watching. Wish you the best. Have a great day.